Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog and basically a replacement video. See, the video I was planning on uploading today uh, got hit with a copyright claim on some of the music in it. And, of course, I'm going to be pushing it back to next week while I try to figure this all out. And the annoying part is I was pretty sure it would be good, but at the same time, it's a Warner Brothers game. So, there you go. That's what I expected, really. Um, <laughs> I should have expected it, really. Rather. I'm going to be pushing that into next week while I try to get this sorted out. And in the meantime, have this vlog. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm boozing, if that helps. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I'm annoyed enough over this issue, I might as well drink, you know? Then again, I also had yesterday, which was not the greatest day, believe me. But I'll get into that later. I realized that I haven't gotten into videos about fair use and all of that hubbub, which we all know happened a while ago. Uh, Mark got into it. Jacksepticeye got into it. A whole bunch of awesome channels. Channel Awesome. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. I can't remember them off the top of my head. I've been drinking, folks. <laughs> anyway, uh, I haven't talked a lot on it, mainly because there were so many videos already coming out. And I felt that there was no need to throw my voice into it when there's, you know, so many other videos out there that can educate people better than I can. However, there I've had my own personal issues with it, and I think it's bullshit, so I figure I should at least mention some of my concerns with it. And uh, try and even it out with how I see it from YouTube's point of view, which in some cases I do understand. Um, the main issue... I know from YouTube's end, I'm going to start with them so that way I can lead into mine. I know that they got sued by Viacom because lots of people were uploading, uploading, mother, basically doing that, but more or less, uh, loading up the videos of, you know, their movies up in full, pretty much giving no profit to Viacom whatsoever, and they sued YouTube for it. And ever since, this is why they came up with the copyright system. And it is still broken because people will still do these sort of things regardless. Anyway, uh, I actually had followed for the longest time a YouTuber who was uploading. Uh, <laughs> it was a long time ago, believe me. But it, it was uploading regular anime shows that I could have easily gotten on Kiss Anime. Uh, because they actually go through the proper channels to get all of that taken care of. In YouTube, they do not, and they're actually profiting off of it, so they got taken down. Um, I don't happen to be able to get that footage up for you, but uh, <laughs> in the link in the description below, I should be able to link to the channel that it used to be, and I have since, you know, unsubscribed from them, I'm pretty sure, I think. It's Cracker Volley. I'll, I'll be able to link it in the description, like I said. Um, I understand that they are obligated to try and protect, you know, money as it stands for the current IP owner. I can understand that. The problem is when they start throwing it, everyone else who's not got the big money that these companies do under the bus just to protect them, when in fact a lot of it is being transformed and, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> and changed with different YouTubers on YouTube. Uh, like I, my particular channel in that Let's Plays, a lot of other Let's Players tend to transform it and make it an experience different than what the game would offer on its own. And some reviewers change opinions on other shows just from reviewing them in and of themselves. Now that doesn't mean that it's going to be stand in fact for those reviewers because that's their interpretation doesn't mean that these people don't have to watch it it's just given someone's opinion on a movie or in my case or in some other people's cases a game and that's all it really is and a lot of people don't seem to understand that it's really a gray area so if you're transforming it it should be completely usable under fair use and a lot of people don't see that now, in the case of some particular people that we all know and laugh at because of a particular thing they tried to pull. <coughs> Brother. <coughs> um, sorry, that was really bad of me. Apparently some booze got in my throat. They uh, don't really add anything to it. They add reactions and the 
TM. I'm going to get taken down for that. They don't really add anything to it. They just react upon it. Oh, there's another TM right there. Oopsie doodle. They don't really change it that much. I like to see LPers and reviewers as actually giving opinions and changing the way the experience is done through them. That doesn't mean it's going to be the same experience for every single person. For, in fact, a lot of the games I play allow you to have different experiences for different games. And I try to only show my interpretation because I like my interpretation. I just want to show it to the rest of the world. That's why I do it. But a lot of people don't seem to see that. And it's mainly the big companies that are mainly looking at, oh, are they using our content? Okay, down. It's a big issue and it's a whole lot of crazy, I understand. And they're trying to find a middle ground. I know that YouTube CEO is promised, has promised at least, uh, that she's going to look into it and seeing how they can revamp the copyright system. And honestly, I don't think that the people who claimed my video are probably at fault. I should have checked into it a little better. But at the same time, they got to understand that I'm transforming the use of their music, which was in the game, and creating a background towards what I'm doing. Now, does that kind of fall into that gray area? Kind of-ish. I'm not entirely certain, but I'm pretty sure I'm still within fair use, and I do hope they understand that and are willing to work with me in that. And if not, I, I, I'll completely honor that decision. And if I have to take the videos down, I'll take the videos down. It's whatever. I really hope that I can still continue to play the game for you guys, because I really like this game and my first two episodes that I recorded, and I only have the episode one right now, I'm really liking how the game is playing. There's a lot of similarities in some games that I really enjoy. So I'm hoping that if <clears throat> they are willing to work with me, uh, I can actually give you guys this experience, and who knows, you might convince you to try and buy some of the games. Who knows? That might actually end up with more money in their pocket in the long run. Hopefully that works. Figured I'd get that out of the way and tell you guys that uh, <laughs> since I basically spoiled who basically made the game, um, it is, yes, a sort of style, and you might know which. And I commented uh, a while ago that it kind of influenced my uh, tendency to wear rings a little bit, and you can see on both hands there. So uh, if you guys can draw the conclusions for yourself there. I hope that'll, uh, you know, give you a bit of a hint. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not wanting to spoil it right now. <laughs> anyway, I uh, think that about gets out all that's in my head. Um, there's nothing really other significant to the channel as it stands. I really just wanted to get my thoughts out there while Drinking booze, because why not? <laughs> Man, it reminds me of my first year already. God damn. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these rambling videos. And, you know, <laughs> hopefully you do. And click the like button if you like this particular rambling video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about these sort of things together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat vlogging for you.